Alright everybody, welcome back to Conqueror and Commander. This is a game featuring my Scytherix the Blight Dragon deck. For the complete deck, let's go to PureMTGO.com, look up my article series Conqueror and Commander. Hopefully I will have a link in the video description up for the deck list as well. Uh, this game came about shortly after Theros came out, so this is my very first game against a god. This is Nylia, God of the Hunt. I'm interested to see what this guy will bring. Um, my other opponents are Meng Huo, Barbarian King, who's mono green aggro probably with a bunch of creatures. And Yulash, the Hate Seed, who's going to probably have a lot of tokens as well. You'll notice there's a lot of green, which is good for me generally because it means that uh, there won't be a ton of flying defense out there. Uh, but I can expect a decent amount of tokens. Luckily, I do have my crawl space in my hand to help me out. Uh, I've got three lands and a charcoal diamond. Um, one of the lands is a coffers, however, so I'm hoping to draw a few more swamps. I decide to go ahead and keep this hand, and I go from there. So let's move this down here. Menghuo goes first. Nylia, everybody drops a forest first turn. I draw Contagion Clasp. Um, the Clasp is a card that's sort of iffy in my deck. I'm not 100% sure I like it, but, you know, it served a purpose here. Uh, Menghuo plays Encroaching Wastes, which I'm a little wary of, especially since uh, if I have enough swamps, I'm going to want my coffers out there, but we'll see what ends up happening. Nylia plays <laughs> Night Soil which is an old school enchantment where you have to exile two creatures to get one sapperling. So my guess is Nylia isn't a super hardcore kind of deck. Um, so I do draw another swamp. I play my charcoal diamond. Uh, Menghuo Silver and Tutors for Oracle of Moldaya. Troll Ascetic comes out for Nylia, which is going to help him with his devotion stuff. You have my Elder. Comes out for you, Lash, to help him. I draw Mind Stone, so I play the Mind Stone and my Frexing Crusader. Oracle comes out and reveals Engulfing Slagworm. Uh, Slagworm is one of those cards that, like, seems cool just because, you know, it destroys anything it blocks or blocks it. So you don't have to worry about Death Touch creatures or anything like that. And you also gain life with him. He just, you know, he's just 7-7 seven, seven for 7 mana, and he, the problem is there's so many good green creatures out there that it's hard to fit him into decks, especially at the 7 mana range. Uh, Nylia plays Dosen. I'm, I'm not too worried about Dosen. Awakening Zone from Ulashed. I draw Damnation, which could be ha good against all these green um, decks and their creatures as well. One of the things you have to remember about Scytherix is that he doesn't naturally have haste. You have to pay to give him haste. And I had plenty of time where I like had six mana, and I cast him, and I went into my attack step, and I forgot that I didn't give him haste. Luckily, I remembered this time, and I decided to go after Nylia, specifically because it's God, number one. And number two, I'm, I'm not really sure what kind of shenanigans she can have in her deck. Uh, so I hit Nylia and give her four counters. One of the things I thought about doing, but I didn't. And uh, Menghuo cycles Crows and Tusker. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm over here. There's a bug. Whatever. I should have attacked or um, Menghuo with my Crusader. Just uh, because if he threw Oracle in front of it, that'd be nice to get rid of that. Um, and it's nice to get the extra counters out there as well. Uh, especially with proliferation available. But I didn't, and that's kind of a mistake on my part. Harmonize for Nylia, and nothing. So Nylia's got a little bit of a land problem. Ulash has nothing going on either. So I decide to go ahead and throw Crawl Space out there before there's a whole mess of tokens that end up coming out. And now I finally spread it out. And I send my Crusader after Menghuo, and Scythrix after Nylia. One of the things, if you're playing this deck, you need to be cutthroat. You can't try to be the nice guy. You can't try and spread the damage around. It's much better just to like 
send Scythrus after the same guy as much as possible. So Nylia has got eight poison counters and Menghuo has two. Menghuo Kodama's reaches and plays two lands and does nothing. Nylia get drops a forest, plays bow of Nylia. First time I've seen that in play as well. Um, and then attacks me with uh, Dosen and Troll Ascetic. I take the damage. He pumps Troll Ascetic. So I take uh, six damage here with his death touch creatures, dropping to 34. You have my elder gets sacrificed by you lashed for a couple forests. And Nylia obviously doesn't have anything else to do. Rapacious one comes out for you lashed. So I decide to go ahead and uh, kill off Nylia with my Frexen Crusader, and I hit you lashed once with Scytherix. Um, specifically, I'm worried about the mana that Rapacious one can give him and see if he can go nuts with it. I do have Sudden Spoiling and Damnation in hand. Uh, I'm still worried about my coffers getting blown up. But, uh, so Nalia is gone. Bye, Nalia. You never even came out. Menghuo is still here. Yulash is still here. And Scythrix is in play. So I'm holding back just in case somebody wants to try and destroy... Oh, there's Summoning Trap. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Summoning Trap is one of those cards where, like, every once in a while, like, it just drops fat stuff. I'm always worried when this happens, but this time, it's just Reverend Hunter. And he comes out as a 3-3. Three, three. Um, so, yeah, that's not horrible for me. But Woodfall Primus is on the top of his yard. However, he Farhaven Elfs, and Wolfhard Primus goes away for Burnished Heart. I get attacked by the Oracle. I'm down to 32. You lashed. Plays Acidic Slime and blows up my Coffers. You know what? That I mean, Coffers was only netting me one extra mana, so I'm not too... wasn't too upset about that. Rapacious one comes after me, though. And I was considering setting and spoiling, but I decided just to wait to see what would happen. Um, not sure that was the best idea. But he gets a bunch of Eldrazi spawn, and that's it. So I attack Ulashed with Scythrix and hit him one more time. And I play uh, Vampire Nighthawk. What I do though is I mistap and I should have used the Mindstone mana just so that I could keep two uh, black mana available to regenerate Scythrix in case somebody plays like Blasphemous Act or Chain Reaction or something like that. Uh, Relic of Progenitus is on the top of Menghuo's library. He plays Burnished Heart. I'm not really sure Burnished Heart is the best card for a green deck. Mainly because most green... Green provides a lot of ways to ramp that don't cost 6 mana. Uh, but, you know, it's in this deck. People like playing with new stuff. And then he Brutalizer Exarchs. And he searches up a creature which is going to be Sylvan Primordial, which he puts on top of his library. Um, New Lashed plays Bloodbraid Elf and cascades into Arc Trail. And he kills off Farhaven Elf and hits me for the other two damage, knocking me down to 27? 25. And then what he tries to do is he tries to attack me with all his Eldrazi spawn. But it tells me he can't because I have crawl space. And I'm happy because I'm not sure what he could have done that would have pumped all his dudes at instant speed. There might have been something out there, I don't know. But essentially he figures out that he can't kill Scytherix. He can't attack me with everything. So he ends up conceding uh, due to crawl space. So I go ahead and attack, and I hit uh, Meng Ho. You know, and that happens some. That happened a bunch with this deck. Is like people, um, people realize they had no out to Skittles, so they just concede instead of sitting around waiting. 
uh, and that that's good for you when you're playing this deck because it it cuts an extra attack step out because um, now I I can attack uh, the Meng Huo player directly. So I attack with Skittles and Vampire Nighthawk, and he's got six um, poison counters now. And I decide to play Contagion Class because. Honestly, what I don't want Sylvan Primordial to do is come out and blow up one of my mana sources. I'd much rather have him blow up either Crawl Space, not so much Crawl Space, but Contagion Class. Uh, and even if he puts the Primordial out there, I've got both Sudden Spoiling and Profane Command to give my creature fear. Um, and Sudden Spoiling would remove the reach from the Primordial as well. So, uh, I'm in pretty good shape right now. He's going to play Primordial and blow up my Contagion Clasp. Since he only blows up one permanent, he only gets one forest. He plays Meng Huo to pump all his dudes, and he attacks me with a bunch. I'm fine. I take the 7 damage, and I drop to 20. I draw the Warhammer, but I'm not worried about it right now. I use the Profane Command to hit him for 3 damage and give all my dudes fear, and that's enough for game. He also had... What did he have? Crap. He had another, like, monstrosity dude. Anyways, uh, you know, a lot of green players mean not a lot of defense, uh, flying defense. I mean, there is the possibility, but a lot of people kind of forsake it and just go with more offensive stuff. But uh, that's a game where I basically was able to poison everybody out. All right, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.